Sometimes what truly matters isn't just what people say, but on what they express without words, through actions hidden beneath layers of tolerance and sincerity. When people near you act in confusing ways, from unfriendly looks to jokes that sound mean, you might be facing clear signs of jealousy and hidden resentment from others. These subtle cues are evident in unexplained small gestures. Today's journey will lead you into the maze of human behaviors, where we will unravel the mysteries behind the gestures we witness daily. Exploring these aspects of human nature not only reveals truths about others, but also triggers a mirror reflecting our own wounds and fears. While it's not always easy to recognize and understand the causes, identifying these expressions can help you protect yourself and navigate relationships more wisely. Are you ready for this intriguing journey? Hit like, subscribe to the channel, and stay with me until the end of the video. Leave a comment if you've encountered any similar situations, and we'll continue the discussion together. Your contribution is crucial in helping the community grow and can be beneficial to someone going through similar situations. Let's begin together. Number one, undermining successes. On our path to figuring out how we connect with others, we find a habit that can really sting when some folks make light of what others have achieved. This happens when someone, feeling jealous, downplays or even dismisses the hard work and wins of someone else. This behavior shows up in different forms, like comments that downplay someone's successes or an attitude that seems uninterested or even denies someone's hard work deserves praise. The idea behind this is to shake the confidence of the person who's done well, making them and everyone else feel like their achievement isn't that important. People who behave this way tend to make remarks that might look harmless on the surface, but are really meant to belittle someone else's achievements. Saying things like, that's no big deal, or I could do that too if I really wanted, are their way of making hard work seem trivial or unworthy. Sometimes, not saying anything or ignoring someone's good news can be just as loud, sending a clear signal of disinterest that suggests the success isn't worth noting. This effort to make someone feel that their hard work doesn't count much actually shows the dissatisfaction of the people doing it. It looks like, by putting others down, they're trying to make themselves feel better as if this could somehow ease the sting of feeling not as able or successful. At its core, this behavior reveals a lot of insecurity and a struggle to deal with negative emotions in a healthy way. Discussing how people put down others' achievements opens a chance for us to think about how our words and actions impact those around us. This kind of attitude doesn't just fail to help the person doing it, but also shines a light on their own issues, showing a heart wrestling with jealousy and unhappiness. Yet, this also offers us a moment to grasp the significance of appreciating and celebrating other people's wins, recognizing that someone else's success is a win for all of us. So, when we ponder why some might downplay others' achievements, it's a call for us to look inside and examine how we handle feelings like jealousy and bitterness. This is a chance to grow in understanding and compassion, aiming for a happier and more supportive community for ourselves and those around us. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once advised, envy is the ulcer of the soul. This wisdom prompts us to reflect on the destructiveness of envy and the healing power of genuine joy for others' successes. It encourages us to transform envy into admiration and resentment into celebration, fostering a community where everyone's victories are supported and celebrated. This shift not only enriches our own lives, but also strengthens the bonds within our communities, leading to a more empathetic and united existence. Number two, excessive imitation. Digging deeper into how envy shows up in our connections with others, we hit upon something quite fascinating excessive imitation. 
This goes way beyond just liking what someone else does. It's about mimicking them so closely that it can sometimes seem like trying to take over their very identity. While we often hear that copying is a big compliment, in this case, it turns out to be a complicated and sometimes shadowy side of envy. At first glance, copying someone might look innocent or even like a compliment, but when it gets more intense, it shows its true colors as an obsession and a drive to compete. The copycat doesn't just want to have similar likes or hobbies. They're trying to take the other person's spot, grab the spotlight, and maybe even outdo the person they're copying. This pattern shows a deep unhappiness with oneself and a constant chase for approval from others. In this scenario, overdoing the imitation turns into a risky play of twisted reflections where the copycat ends up forgetting who they really are, chasing after someone else's image. It's not just about trying to match up with the person they envy. It's a frantic grab for the traits they admire in the other, hoping somehow to soak up the success and praise the original gets. But this chase is bound to fall flat because it overlooks what makes each person special and valuable in their own right. It's important to understand that the urge to imitate often stems from profound insecurity and low self-esteem. Someone caught up in this cycle might feel inadequate and turn to imitation as a way to feel more worthwhile or accomplished. But this road only leads to losing their true self and missing out on the richness of human life. Each person has their own special qualities and potentials that should be embraced and honored, not buried under imitation. When dealing with this situation, it's vital to foster a culture where people accept themselves and appreciate what makes them unique. Encouraging everyone to discover and nurture their own talents and passions is key to creating relationships built on respect and genuine admiration rather than harmful rivalry. By addressing and moving past the urge to imitate excessively, we create space for more authentic connections, celebrating the diverse and valuable viewpoints each individual brings to our social world. As Epictetus once wisely remarked, wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. This insight underscores the importance of embracing our own inherent worth and cultivating contentment with who we are rather than endlessly striving to emulate others. Through this journey of self-discovery and acceptance, we pave the way for deeper connections founded on authenticity and mutual appreciation. Number three, passive-aggressive behaviors. In the middle of all the ups and downs of life, there's a tangled mix of feelings and actions, with passive-aggressive behavior really catching the eye. This kind of behavior, usually coming from hidden feelings of jealousy and unhappiness, creates a complicated pattern in how we get along with others, filled with mixed signals and not being straightforward. People shadowed by jealousy rather than facing their feelings honestly often pick a tricky way to show it, through sarcasm and hidden jabs. These remarks might look polite on the surface, but they're really like poison arrows aimed to sting and bring down others, all without giving a chance for a straight-up talk. This sneaky behavior ends up being a trap, not just for the person on the receiving end, but also for the one dishing it out. For the person doing it, it's like a getaway car, showing they might not have the courage or maybe are scared to deal with what they're really feeling or wanting. It's all about a complicated mess of feelings they're not dealing with straight, twisting them into something else instead. For the person on the receiving end, the roundabout way these comments are made gives them a mysterious vibe, making it hard to really get what's being said. It's like they're always trying to figure out if what they heard was just a regular remark or a hidden dig, Diving into how passive-aggressive behavior works makes us think hard about why we get envious or bitter. Why do we often show our darkest feelings in such a roundabout way? 
Is it because we're scared of showing our true selves? Or maybe we think we're keeping our pride by not facing things head on? This question really makes us pause and reflect, pushing us to think deeply about how we handle our feelings and those of people around us. So, when we look into passive-aggressive actions, we're not just learning about a unique side of how people interact. We're also embarking on a personal journey to understand ourselves better. Envy and unhappiness are deeply human emotions, yet they can cause a lot of pain. They give us a chance to grow personally, but only if we're brave enough to confront them directly and truthfully. This subject invites us to think deeply about ourselves, urging us to dive into our inner workings and better understand what drives how we connect with others. As Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher, once said, whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I am about to criticize? This reflection on our own vulnerabilities and shortcomings offers a path towards compassion and self-improvement, guiding us through the complex web of human emotions and behaviors. Number four, information manipulation. One of the sneakiest ways people driven by jealousy mess with others is by playing tricks with information. They either twist the truth or keep important facts to themselves, all to make someone else look bad or block their way forward in work or among friends. When someone does this, it shows they're okay with hurting others to get what they want, and the damage they cause can stick around for a long time. These tricks can look like spreading false stories or leaving out things that could help or defend someone. The goal is to shake up the standing of the person they're targeting, making it harder for them to succeed or grow, either at work or in their social life. By spreading lies, the jealous person tries to make others doubt the target's skills, goodness, or motives. This kind of action is not just wrong. It reveals a deep problem in the person doing it and shows how damaging jealousy can be in friendships and working relationships. The hurt from messing with information isn't small. It can change someone's path, shut down chances for them, and start fights that keep going. So it's really important for us to stay alert and stick to our principles when it comes to the information we get and pass on. Knowing that people can twist information and understanding the damage it can do is the first step in stopping it. We need to work towards creating spaces where openness, mutual respect, and double-checking the facts are the norm. This helps stop these harmful actions before they start. Plus, when we see someone messing with the truth, we should stand up not just to protect those who might get hurt, but to also call out and discourage such actions. This might mean setting the record straight on a lie or pushing for a way of communicating that's more open and trustworthy, encouraging a culture where being honest and upright is more important than winning at any cost. Taking on the challenge of dealing with twisted information and the jealousy behind it takes bravery and a strong will, but it's a fight worth having. By standing up to this, we're looking out for each other's well-being and making our communities and society stronger. In a world where being truthful and trustful is becoming more and more valuable, it's on all of us to look after how information is shared and kept honest. Number five, no support and continuous demotivation. As we delve deeper into understanding envy, we encounter a sneaky and harmful side of it, the lack of support and spreading of doubt. Here, envy doesn't show itself through outright negativity or clear criticism. Instead, it hides in the shadows, seen in the absence of encouragement and words that chip away at our self-belief. In this case, the person filled with envy wears a disguise of worry or practical thinking. They claim to be just being sensible when they doubt whether goals or dreams can be reached, hinting that these aspirations are too far-fetched or imaginary. When someone who should stand by you and lift you up only ends up casting shadows of doubt and pulling you down, it has a big effect. 
it shakes your confidence and your drive. You should be feeling bolstered in your journey towards your goals. But instead, you're left questioning your own worth and whether your aspirations are even valid. It's a sneaky kind of envy that quietly chips away at your determination and self-worth. Tackling this way of acting needs a lot of self-knowledge and inner toughness. It's important to understand that when people don't support you or try to bring you down, it often shows their own fears and doubts. Not that your dreams are impossible or silly. Seeing things this way can free you, helping you find your own drive and getting real and helpful backing from others. So, when we see lack of support and constant negativity as signs of jealousy, it makes us think more about how crucial it is to cheer each other on and believe in our dreams. Getting past these hurdles not only makes us tougher and more sure of ourselves, but also lights the way to a community where we all back each other up and see each person's win as a win for everyone. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, envy is a declaration of inferiority. This perspective encourages us to rise above the pettiness of envy, transforming our interactions into opportunities for mutual upliftment, thereby contributing to a more supportive and unified community. Number six, extreme rivalry. As we explore the twists and turns of human feelings, we come across extreme rivalry, where people get too caught up in comparing themselves to others. This can lead to some pretty nasty stuff. It's like wanting to be better than everyone else so bad that you'll do anything to make sure they look worse. Sometimes it even gets to the point where you try to mess things up for others just so you can come out on top. Healthy competition can be a real motivator, driving us to reach new heights and be our best selves. But when envy sneaks in, it poisons the whole thing. It's like this dark cloud that hangs over success, making it feel empty unless someone else fails. It's exhausting, always measuring yourself against others, and it never leaves you feeling truly fulfilled. When someone becomes overly competitive because of envy, it shows they're struggling with their own insecurities. They start to tie their own worth to the failures of others, which isn't healthy. This obsession can lead them to do all sorts of things, from constantly putting down other people's achievements to outright trying to ruin their success. It's not just damaging to the people they target. It also messes up relationships, breeding mistrust and bad vibes all around. So the real task here is to catch ourselves before we go too far down the competitive rabbit hole. We need to be brave enough to take a good look at ourselves and realize when we're getting too obsessed with beating others. Instead of tearing each other down, we should aim for teamwork and lifting each other up. If we focus on pushing our own boundaries instead of trying to one-up everyone else, we'll find a much better and longer-lasting way to grow personally. Creating spaces where people work together and appreciate each other's efforts is key to reducing the negative effects of envy-driven competition. This isn't just about making individuals feel better. It's about creating communities where everyone supports each other. When we deal with envy and excessive competition in a mature and understanding way, we can turn these challenges into chances for everyone to grow, both personally and as a group. It's all about making society more harmonious and productive for everyone. Number seven, superficial smile. On our trip through the maze of human feelings and how they show themselves, we bump into a really telling sign, the smile that doesn't quite light up the eyes. This kind of smile is often a clue that someone might be feeling jealous, even if they seem friendly on the surface. Even though they might say things that sound happy or supportive, their body language and the little hints of real emotion tell a different story. They actually might be feeling bitter or jealous. This shows just how complicated our emotions are and how good people can be at hiding what they really feel. The gap between the words people say and the emotions they show without words can be small, 
but it's deep, and it tells us a lot about what's going on inside them. The smile that stops short of the eyes is like a peek into someone's deeper feelings, showing us the tug of war inside between wanting to seem likable and actually feeling unhappy or jealous. This clash between what people say and what they really show us without words is a wake-up call that our emotions are complex and sometimes mixed up. Paying close attention and being sensitive to the fine points of how people communicate is key to spotting these moments of fakeness in everyday life. This skill is not just about figuring out the layers of human emotions, it's also about moving through our relationships more knowingly and genuinely. When we notice a smile that doesn't quite make it to the eyes, it invites us to dig deeper into what's really going on and think about the true feelings that might be hidden. Recognizing these moments also pushes us to look at how we express our own emotions and whether we're being as honest as we can be. It's a chance to reflect on our own authenticity and how we present ourselves to others. In a world that often pushes us to always seem happy and supportive, it's tough to own up to feelings like jealousy or bitterness. Yet, being honest and thoughtful about these feelings is a key part of growing personally and creating deeper, more real connections with others. We need to champion being real in our interactions and encourage open talks about complicated feelings like envy to clear up misunderstandings and make our relationships stronger. By embracing the complexity of our emotional experiences, we create space for more meaningful and authentic relationships. As Seneca wisely noted, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This sentiment encourages us to prioritize emotional honesty and authenticity in our interactions, allowing us to cultivate deeper connections and find true contentment in the present moment. Number eight, insecurity projection. In the tangled world of our feelings, we sometimes find a tricky habit where people throw their own worries and weaknesses onto others. This often comes from jealousy or not feeling good enough. Imagine pointing at someone else's mistakes or the bad parts, but really, you're just showing what you're struggling with inside. This habit is like a shield to hide how vulnerable we feel, trying to shake the other person's confidence by making them feel small or less than. When we pick at what we think are flaws in others, we're really trying to take the spotlight off our own problems for a bit. It's like pretending our own issues shrink but that's just a trick we play on ourselves. The real issue, our shaky self-esteem, and our hard time dealing with not feeling enough, stays untouched. Throwing our worries onto others doesn't help us grow. Instead, it can really hurt the confidence and feelings of those we target. This creates a loop of bad feelings and hard feelings, making it tough to form strong and kind connections with others. Seeing this habit for what it is, a sign of jealousy, takes a lot of self-understanding and kindness, both to spot it in ourselves and to get it when we see it in others. When we're on the receiving end of such criticism, it's a chance to step back and think about what's really going on with the person dishing it out. It nudges us to find a better way to handle our own insecurities. Talking openly about our insecurities and faults and creating a space where everyone feels safe to share their worries without being judged is key to stopping the habit of dumping these issues onto others. Facing our insecurities head on with kindness can help us end this cycle and start building stronger self-confidence and more real connections with people. So. When we look into the habit of pushing our insecurities onto others, we're really starting a journey of self-discovery and growth. Turning this habit around into a chance for personal improvement and understanding can make our lives better and our relationships richer, making a more supportive and positive space for all of us. Number nine, secretive sabotage. 
In the complex world of relationships, jealousy can sometimes lead to a sneaky problem called secretive sabotage. This issue is tricky because it's all about being subtle and staying under the radar, making it a particularly sneaky form of jealousy. Instead of clear competition or directly putting someone down, those who sneakily sabotage others prefer indirect methods. They might set up barriers to someone else's success, spread little bits of false information, or sway others' opinions negatively. Their goal is to quietly chip away at someone's achievements, making it really hard to pinpoint who's behind it and why. This sneaky sabotage is so dangerous because it can look like bad luck or just random problems, leaving the person being targeted feeling confused and vulnerable, often without realizing the real reason behind their setbacks. This behavior doesn't just cause momentary doubt, it can deeply affect someone's confidence and their path in life. Whether at work or in personal matters, the real kicker is how hard it is to catch and prove covert sabotage is happening. With no clear proof of ill will, standing up to the saboteur or getting help becomes a daunting task, leaving the person facing these hidden attacks to wrestle with doubts about their own abilities and judgment. Tackling this sneaky kind of jealousy involves being both watchful and strong. It's important to get good at noticing how people interact and picking up on possible sabotage signs, while also building up your own self-belief and a circle of people you can count on. Realizing that the person trying to pull you down is actually dealing with their own issues can give you some comfort and the push you need to get past these hurdles. Also, working towards a culture of clear, open talking and mutual respect can reduce the chances of such sneaky behaviors. Encouraging open conversations about the problems we're facing and aiming to create relationships built on trust and support are crucial in making a community that turns its back on jealousy and undermining tactics. So, when we face covert sabotage, we're really being called to think deeply about the complex nature of human connections and the importance of fostering a professional and personal life filled with honesty and strong support. By staying aware and dedicated to these positive principles, we can hope to move beyond the problems jealousy and sabotage bring, creating a place where we all can succeed and grow together. Number 10, Selective Indifference. In the way people relate to each other, there's this sneaky but powerful thing called selective indifference. It's when someone acts like they don't care at all about other people's good stuff. Usually it comes from feeling jealous. Instead of showing any excitement or support, they act like it's no big deal. But really, it's a way to put down someone else's happiness or success. And that can really hurt their feelings and how they see themselves. Selective indifference operates as a veiled attempt to steal the spotlight from others, conveying the message that their achievements hold little importance. This insidious tactic aims to sow seeds of doubt within the individual, causing them to question their worth and the value of their efforts. Ultimately, it reflects the envious person's attempt to alleviate their own insecurities by belittling the successes of others. However, this approach is ultimately misguided as it fails to address the root causes of their envy and instead exacerbates the problem, leading to strained relationships and emotional detachment. Recognizing and acknowledging selective indifference, whether within ourselves or in others, is crucial in combating its harmful effects. By shining a light on this behavior, we can take proactive steps to address our own insecurities and strive for personal growth in a positive manner. Fostering a culture of genuine celebration and support for each other's successes serves as a powerful antidote to envy, creating a more uplifting and nurturing environment for all involved. In today's exploration through the intricate maze of human behaviors, we have delved into the complex world of unspoken cues and gestures 
that often go unnoticed, yet hold profound significance in our daily interactions. We unraveled the mysteries hidden beneath layers of actions, revealing not just how we perceive others, but also casting a reflective light on our own insecurities, fears, and wounds. This journey into understanding human nature does more than just offer insights. It challenges us to look deeper into the essence of our relationships and personal growth. As we wrap up this enlightening exploration, we hope you've found value in the insights and understanding we've shared. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button to support us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of our videos, and leave a comment below. We're eager to hear about your experiences and perspectives. Your feedback helps us understand you better and continue to improve our content. Don't overlook the videos linked in the end screen. It's handpicked to further your journey of discovery offering more insights and enriching your understanding of the complex tapestry of human behavior. Thank you deeply for joining us on this journey today. Your time, curiosity, and engagement mean the world to us. As we part ways, remember the importance of compassionate observation, both of others and of oneself. Keep exploring, questioning, and growing. Take care and see you soon.